What up, bro? Welcome back to another episode, yes, of Skinny's Row, guys. This video today is gonna be action packed. I'm on my way up to Hoppo's, a shop called Hoppo's. Yes, you heard me, Hoppo's. We'll explain what that is in a minute, but let me hop in the whip. Let's head up north. This is gonna be a dope video. I'm so excited for you guys. Let me do less explaining, more driving, get to our destination. Let's get this vlog started, baby. Let's get it. Woo, 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 woo. We might have coming. That is wild. Let's go. You guys, look at this truck. By the way, we're right by the freeway, so it's probably a little loud. I'll speak as loud as I can so you can hear me pretty clear. But this truck is absolutely crazy right now. Holy smoke. Look how big these rims are. 39, 26. Wow, with these big tires on here. As we have something in store for you. I know I said a couple of vlogs back, I had a crazy truck that I really wanted to show you guys. And this one is gonna be for the record books. I guarantee you, this is something you have never seen before, let alone driving on the streets. But you've probably never seen a truck like this, honestly, anywhere. I know my boy, uh, Eric, would love what I'm about to do right now. He'd be going nuts if he saw what we're about to see today. That's a small little hint, what we got kind of got in store today for today's video. So I told you guys, with this dream car series, it's not always about supercars or the crazy exotic car, right? Or the sports car. Any type of build that I think is passionate to the builder. Also, that looks crazy in other people's minds and like can blow your mind of what the potential you can do with any type of vehicle. So today's video is gonna show you that potential, man. It's gonna be sick. Hey guys, this is my boy, Alex, man. How you What's doing, up, man? How are you, man? Good. How you doing? Good, good, good. Look, we met each other at local car scene was a couple yeah. videos back. That's where we met. Yeah, exactly. yeah. And we're kind of talking about the dream car series and he mentioned he had a truck in mind that blew my mind when I looked at the picture. Literally, I almost passed out. <laughs> Seriously, it's no, it's it's different. It's different. It's way different. Yeah. Before, before we get to that, let's talk about this thing. Yeah, this cool. is Here wild. Check it out. Like I know, I know it's not done yet, but um, like, what do you guys, what do you guys plan on doing with this thing? So this one was already a prior build, but we're doing, and a lot of you guys are probably gonna hate us for this, but we're doing something different. We're gonna do a three stage or a four stage dancing bed on this guy. <laughs> and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, like old school mini trucks where the bed goes up yeah, and it slaps around. Yeah, man, they flip around and do yeah. all that. That's hard, that's culture though. It, it is, and like, it's kind of bringing it back, you know, like every yeah. 20 something years, you know, the Heck style yeah. comes back. Perfect for time. sure, man. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. That's why I love doing these dream car series builds because like, it's not about even what's current, but like from the past and maybe bringing it back and throwing it yeah. back. For me, like growing up, it wasn't always supercars, like lowrider culture, truck culture, because living in, in the Inland Empire, like, I grew up in Rancho, yeah. oh, okay. which is right around the corner. Yeah, like there's everything out here. Yeah, everything. It wasn't always just exotic cars. Like you had lowriders, you had your old school whips, you did have like your tuners, you had all that stuff. Yeah, here, it's so. a good mixture out here. Good mixture. Really good mixture. So I grew up seeing everything. Yeah. That's why I love doing this stuff, man. So it's crazy. Well, first off, where are we at? I didn't care about where we at. So we're in Riverside, California, yeah. borderline of Marino Valley, yeah. uh, Route 215 and 60 in our facility right here. So our shop name is Hoppo's Custom Suspension Works. We've go. been in business for, shoot, 35 years now. No way. Yeah, my dad's original Holy owner. Crap. Family Holy. ran it off already. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. dope. I didn't yeah. know that. That's sick. Check out their Instagram because the whips they do on here, they're out of control. <laughs> yeah. now, this is like not even close. I can't wait to show you guys inside what's in there. Like, the kind of work they do here, it is nuts. Yeah, we do full ground up builds. So that's it. Yeah, we do about five a year now. Um, we used to do like 200 a year. What? Yeah, it was crazy. Builds? We used Bro. to do like 200 installations a year. And then Whoa. as we started scaling up, we yeah. were like, you know. Man, we, it's hard to do that. It's, yeah, it's hard. It's hard to maintain. So we just went into the manufacturing side of it. So. That's sick. And I'll show you that once we get in there. Dude, that's dope. Wow. <laughs> yes, here, a link will be in the description. You have, please follow them and check out their work. And if you want to build them, hit them up because their work is like, Quality is dope. Thank it's you. sick. Even just scrolling through this the gram and not going inside it, like it's <laughs> top notch, man. Oh dang! Okay, I had no idea. Yeah, I had no idea. I was not expecting this. Holy crap! Do <laughs> so you guys got a full on like big scale operation? This is oh yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. We run. Uh, I believe we have. 16 CNC's total. Holy uh, we got crap. laser, we got what? press break, uh, we got yeah, robotic see that, see that welders. Back here. Yeah, yeah, this is all in house. Yeah, this is all in house. Right? Whoa. I hadn't had no idea. <laughs> I like the fact that you didn't even like really brag about it when we met. Just call, yeah, come by the shop. This is crazy. Yeah, well, you know, it's like a lot of people, like, you know, I don't. It's like if you want to see the car, cool, see the car, but yeah. then we'll see what else Dude. we got to offer too. Here. This is like a whole nother. And actually, wow. You get to see the man who started it right now. He's just pulling up. Oh, right did now. Really? Yeah. Nice, man. Yeah. yeah, we're chatting before we walked in, and you said you've been doing this 15 years with your yeah. boss, right? That's yeah, 15 dope, years. Um, yeah, 15 years full time now. That's I, awesome. 
you know, I I dropped out of college. And, you know, I was like, this isn't for me. Yeah. I, I need. I know what I want to do. I want to chase my dreams, and uh, I'm glad I did, man. Yeah. I'm glad I did. I, I, yeah. I don't regret, you know, one thing. Yeah. I actually, the one thing I do regret is not starting sooner. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. There you go. You know, what we do here is we we manufacture hydraulic and air suspension product. Yeah. Uh, we do low riders. I mean, everyone knows us for the low riders. We do a lot of air ride as well, but that's our main thing is hydraulics. You kind of see right here behind yeah. you. Some of our cars for the past. Oh, dang. I'm glad. See, I've actually been trying to get a lowrider to do a gym car series. It's been okay. tough to find one. Oh, literally. Yeah, I can get you. Okay. Yeah, I can we, get you whatever. We gotta, we gotta make that happen. <laughs> I've literally been trying, like, three people have not been able to link up with me to do a, oh, yeah, a lowrider. I can link you up with some good guys out here. Yeah, some guys that we work with all the time. Heck Got yeah. tons of cars. Heck yeah. So you see, like, all the aluminum product here. That's what yeah. we're making house. Um, yeah, awesome. You'll see the machines in the back. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the stuff, what we do is, you know, we're not reinventing the wheel or nothing like that. We're yeah. just trying to make the wheel look nice. There That's you all go. It is, you know? There you go. It's, it's uh, you know, for us, it's all flash. It's all cosmetic. Yeah. It's all, we want the performance as well. But yeah. the biggest thing is like, it has to look good. Yeah. Man. You know, especially when we're cruising down the street. hundred so. percent. So these are the actual hydraulic pumps, what you're looking at here. Okay. There's just different variations of them. Yeah. Um, they all do the same thing. They all lift the car up and down. There's just different things you could do as far as upgrade. You got bearing end caps, so the motor and the armature spins faster. Okay. It's also vented to release heat out. Um, you just got different backing plates, different dump configurations. Little cosmetic stuff like little tank plugs like that. Yeah. So instead of running like just a little fitting, you can upgrade it, do a whole bunch of stuff like that. So difference in, I know obviously tank size, is that for just more air, more power? Like what's, what would be the difference between you? This side, this side or that side? So these ones right here, externally, you can't tell the difference on them. But internally, there's actually a gear inside of here. Okay. And this is what actually pumps the fluid. So. As the motor spins, if yeah. you have a bigger gear, it's gonna produce more fluid. And more fluid means more power, and that means the car goes up a lot quicker. So they really wanna go straight up. Woo. Yeah, they yeah, so, up. I mean, so what we do is we do a lot of, like, the higher end show car stuff. Uh, yeah, sure. we, we did okay. we did a lot of the hopper stuff back in the day, which actually, I could show you one that we're working on right now. Dang. We're kind of bringing that back. Heck yeah. Um, and it's for a pretty big company that we're working with right now. Heck yeah. And, um, but yeah, I mean, from like the full show yeah. to like the full radical hopper stuff. That's wild, so it's two different types of styles. So even kind of like, I guess in the car world, like you have like your two-step cars or like your show car. Yeah. So it's two different types. Wow, didn't know that. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, dope, let's keep it going. Holy crap. Holy. Yeah, so this is wow. shipping side right here. Um, a little bit of the inventory. This is crazy. So as orders come in, we're pulling it and then they'll start packing orders. Uh, this is just our shipping area. Yeah. So these are like, these are actually the gears, what I was talking about. The bigger oh. the gear, the faster you know, gotcha. the, the car goes up. So okay. right now they're assembling stuff for inventory, gotcha. getting stuff ready here, getting ready you know, to ship out. Yeah. All right, this is, guys, this building is huge. How many square feet is it? I think it's, it's I think we're just under 13,000 square feet. Wow. So yeah, that's big. it's not our biggest we've had, but it's our most wide open. Gotcha. Um, so we moved here about three years ago. And okay. when we first moved in, we were in here doing donuts. We're like, man, this place is massive. <laughs> like, this is cool. And then like, kind of almost out and, and then six bit. months, you know, a year comes in and we're just like, everything's shrinking. We're like, yeah. man, we, we outgrew this again. <laughs> good funny. problem. Right, good it, problem. it is a very good problem. Uh, we produce a lot of our product in house. So, so this is before they get bent up, but this is actually a uh, conversion to okay. a heavier duty ball joint for a Lincoln Town car. So nice. what it does is it extends the arm out, gives it that that little tuck that the lower airs are yeah. used to, and then gives them a stronger ball joint. Nice. Some wow. of our air tanks that we got right here, before the finished stages, just yeah. spray off the machine cut, and then they get turned and made. Those machines doing all the cutting. This yeah. one in particular? Nice. Yeah, you can see these ones are actually running oh, yeah. right now. This is one of our newer products. Uh, all we did, same thing. Not reinventing the wheel, yeah. but we're just making it look cosmetically different. It's Heck two yeah. pumps in one. But yeah, from, you know, starting off like, raw material like that and then turning it into something that's the fun part that you is gotta have that part. imagination you know yeah wait so your dad when he started building this he would design all this stuff on his own like this he started this in the garage in the driveway no way yeah wow. that fitting bin he had like a little fitting bin it was like yeah you know two by two like six drawers eight drawers something like that that was like his inventory it was like man i'm i'm, I'm big time you know and then now you see as we progress it really does blow my mind how people like your dad like have started something from like the garage and it's something like like this yeah. it's like where do you start? You know what I mean? It's hard that it just keeps going and going and going and going. You gotta have that dream to just keep going yeah. and push, you know? It's another like project truck, not not done yet. This is this is one of my project trucks that- Oh, one of yours? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, I'm, every owner, like how long has it been here? I'm gonna guess three years. Keep going. No. Okay, man, eight? 
No way. It's funny because every like shop owner or anyone, they always like their car is always sitting. There's always that one it's that just kind of gets put on the back burner. Yeah, all the time. This this has been the one. The one that I said I would never sell. Everything else, yeah. I'm like, I'll get rid of. But this was the first truck that I was able to like buy and like yeah, you know sure. get my pink slip. And I was like, yeah, yeah this this is my truck yeah. right here. Yeah, that's hilarious. Okay, so how many years? Uh, I think we're going on 10. 10? Okay. Yeah. Not too bad. But, but I did touch it like eight months ago and I did the rear end. <laughs> I did the rear end. Touch it. <laughs> They're working on, uh, this is one of our Impala wishbones. So what this does is converts the rear suspension into like a triangulated three, four link. Whoa. And it allows it to do that three wheel. And oh. also keep it all centered up and sturdied up. Dude, so thick too. Oh yeah, this, this is solid. Wild. Solid billet. Wild. I know it's a crazy scale, but like I would say like your mid-range build, what would that cost for someone who want to do like a mid-range like type of kit, like low rider kit? Like, 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 not, not, yeah, not county paint, just straight like. So like a mid-range, like hydraulic kit. Yeah. And of course there's different stages to yeah, it, yeah. right? I'll say like, you know, like entry level. So like entry level hydraulic kit is only 1500 bucks. No way. Yeah, it's only 1500 Oh shoot, bucks, okay. Then you got your batteries, yeah. then you got your installation, and then you got, you know, all the labor side of things. Yeah. So. In the end of the day, I think an average install right now is going for about five grand. That's actually not bad. It's not horrible. For like an entry level just to get started. I know you can go crazier, and especially yeah. you start like doing like designs and etching. Like I know if you get nuts, yeah, but like, like that's not, that's business. actually not bad, man. Oh, Dope, that's and sick. And then obviously you work yeah. your way up, you yeah. know, it's, it's just like the cars. And you know, then the addiction up. starts, and next thing you know, you're at 20 Gs. Yeah. <laughs> it's like going NA and then maybe supercharging. Oh, I knew that was coming, I knew that was coming. <laughs> Those are entry level builds. Yeah. Um, as far as like hydraulics, then you go into like full chassis builds like this. Holy smoke. This is like breaking it all the way down. 100% all the way down. Bare chassis, wow. sandblasting, reinforcing the whole thing. Wow. Pretty much starting from scratch. How, how long would something like this take on, on average? On average, you could get a full-blown show car with the right team. Yeah. That's like the key, the right yeah, team, yeah. in about a year. Damn, a year. Woo, that's commitment. I mean, I feel like nowadays to get a good low rider, you're, you're at 100K minimum. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's what it is. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Like When it comes down to like the lifestyle, well, the average person doesn't realize like what it takes to put in that car. You know, you see an R8 or a Lamborghini, you know like, oh, that's 250 or 150. But then you see a lower, you're like, oh, that's cool. But you don't realize the blood, sweat, and tears and the money it took in just one car. Yeah. And then the funny part is what like lower guys always say is like, we don't finance some of this. Stuff. You can't finance. Woo! It, you know, so damn, that's true. It, it's, oh. it's either you got a big credit card, or you got the cash laying around, oh. and you build it. So that's oh, the difference on it. It's, that it's, is it's commitment. It really I is. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Holy crap. One thing did catch my eye. Yeah. The El Toro Loco. Yeah. Where did that come from? Cause dude, Monster Jam in our house is huge. Yeah. That's one of my kids' favorite trucks. So this one actually, this one got ripped off in Anaheim. No but way. I've actually, yeah, I've done some work for um, Avenger and uh, one of the no other way. ones. Yeah, so we did, they were having problems with tacoing their, their wheels. Okay. And they're like, man, we can't afford to keep replacing $5,000 wheels every, oh. every show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we made them some 3 8 thick circles and that, that was probably about seven dope. years ago. And actually, wow! I actually just saw a video at Snapdragon down in San Diego, yeah. and they had those rings still on there. And no I was like, that's way. dope. I did those like eight, probably, oh, probably seven years ago. And they're still and they're still on there. And theirs were breaking like every- Every other show they were breaking them. Wow, that so, car, yeah, that's car, Yeah, it was pretty cool. right there. Okay, now what, what, what is this? What, what car is this first? I know people already know. One of my favorites. And then, did you guys do any work on this? Or what are you doing on this one? So this is an Impala. Yeah. Um, this, this is like everyone knows the holy grail, the holy grail, right? Yeah, the holy grail. It, yeah. well, this is one of the most like iconic cars it in is. any industry. Yeah. I don't care what kind of car you like, everybody wants or knows me in Impala. Yep. Like. Yeah, so this one we originally built and uh, did the hydraulics and the suspension on probably okay. about six years ago. Oh, wow. Um, it's actually from Philadelphia. And oh, wow. uh, the owner took it back, cruised it around, and then started working on other projects. Okay. And then it just kind of sat outside in the snow, <laughs> no, uncovered. The snow? Yeah. But, uncovered? Dude, when oh I heard that, like gosh. my heart, my heart, like seriously hurt. But for that, the paint still looks like really good still. Like yeah, all the yeah, things on here. Um, because he was in Philadelphia, I kind of jumped a few other hands. Yeah. And while we're trying to just get it back up to par, gotcha. get it ready for this year, for this show season. So. Gotcha. Guys, look at the detail from the dash. The seats, the switches, like everything is so freaking detailed. Like, do I even really need to zoom in on that? Like, look at that. The engravings, even on the door handles. Like that is real work and real money. Like, that is not, <laughs> that's not cheap. That's what I'm saying when it comes to low riders. Like, and like you said, there's no loans. Like you're charging it or you're saving your cash. Like look at all the detail on that. Wow. 
No way. Dude, look at this. Holy smokes. That is nuts. Yeah, that, that, that's not a starter kit. That's, that's <laughs> not a starter kit. Dude, this is incredible. Explain all this stuff, like someone who doesn't know anything. So you might look at it and it's like, oh, that's like a, looks like a bomb or, you know, something like that. But yeah. they actually call them that. They call them bombs or they call them pumps. Really? Yeah, okay. so this one has four. You can see one, two, three, four. Yeah. And what this does is pretty much front left corner, front right corner, back left corner, back right corner. Okay. Um, so it's individual control. So you can lift the front corner up, drop it down. You can do all that side, side to side, Heck three yeah. wheel motion. This kit will allow you to do it while looking good. So after this, obviously you guys gonna get lines. Like what, what's left before you start installing it? So this was this car? was already in. What we're doing okay. is we just ripped it out to rebuild the whole thing. Gotcha. Uh, when we send it back, we don't want to have any issues. So yeah. we got all new seals in it. So um, all the internal, all, all the stuff. All the internals got rebuilt on it. Now nice. we're just waiting to finish all the seals on the car. Okay. Uh, once all that gets replaced, we do a test run, bleed out all the lines, uh, get this in, all new batteries, all new solenoids, pretty much a whole new system. Wow. Fresh and ready, insert. Or ma'am, do not leave that car outside no more. Yeah. Don't break our hearts. No, don't do it. Because you got lucky. It looks really good for being outside. In the snow, you said? In the snow. Wow. showing you guys so this is one of our whammy tanks and this engraving is all done by hand here so Whoa, really oh yeah, yeah this, so if you crap. look really close you'll actually see like the imperfections of the chisel and stuff like that and um, that's, that's one of those awesome, things man. that I, I don't have the patience to do this I've tried it it's artwork for sure but if you think of this and the guys that are doing like their whole cars the amount of time it takes for a little chisel to just come in and do these lines. That is nuts, man. I don't even see no imperfections. You can't because you do this. Yeah. Where the heck would they be? I can't even tell. So you can see, one. You can see one right here. So see the line? It gets a little thicker and a little thinner down here. Nope, it's like designed to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to get to the car. Let's go. I won't snake you guys any longer. We're going to pull it out and show you this dream car. I am pumped and so excited for you guys to see this. Here we go in five, four, three, two, and one. <laughs> oh yeah, let's go. Let's go. We are looking at a cave truck. Eric, eat your heart out, baby. This thing is wild. Look at this. Look at this drive by. No way. How many of you have seen something like this on the streets? You have not. This is hard. This is what the Dream Guys series is about. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Let's go. <laughs> this wow. Come on, everybody. You can't tell me you were expecting something like this. This is insane. It's, it's Holy different. Crap. It's different. In my mind, I'm like, I just want something weird, something different, something <laughs> crazy. And I'm like, K truck, you know? I know we're talking off camera. Like, these are getting really popular right now. Like, everybody's trying to find one. Everybody wants one. Everybody wants to modify it. But you did this, what, you said three years ago? I ordered this two years ago. Two years ago and okay. I started it. Uh, let's see, I, I took him to SEMA for the first show ever. Six months of building time in there. Wow. Two years ago, he was ahead of the whole K-Truck trend. And man, I'll say you killed it. You knocked this out the park. Like, you have a little bit of everything, which is what I like. Because like you said, I think you have, what, like some truck yeah. blood lights, right? Yeah, so I got all rigid lighting. So the whole thing is all rigid lighting. Rigid yeah. lighting is all known for, like, off-road pre-runner stuff. So yeah. I deleted the rear tail lights, did, like, the... the, the oh, dude, this is, this is, look at that. Like, that detail right there is crazy. Every little bit sets his car off. Yeah. That chassis, a rear mounted wing, we'll call yeah. it. That's hard. That's like JDM style right there. Yeah. That's what I love. That's so sick. It technically is a JDM truck, right? It is technically. Yeah. It is. Yeah, it's right hand drive. It's yeah. important for Japan. I mean, you yeah. don't get more JDM than right? that. Right? So. Let's talk about the, the kit. Why did you choose? So, guys, he made his own wide body kit. He didn't go with like Pandem or any of those other companies. He made his own. Why did you choose to make your own? Like, what was the reasoning behind that? Well, the reason I did that, for one, is I wanted to be different. Yeah. I didn't want to have something that anyone could just click and buy. Two, I just didn't, I wasn't a fan of the way that the lines on the body flowed with that kit. Yeah. This truck's very square, very linear, a lot of straight lines. 
So I wanted something that was gonna be like super exaggerated. I'm like, yeah, he panned him more of like round. Yeah, it's almost right? like a dual yeah. fender on. Yep, yeah. So my mind was like, I want you got like a dually right there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It would look exactly you look like around that. It. it would not have looked good on this on this truck. I agree with that. So yeah. my thing was like, I wanted hard line, exaggerated, yeah. like almost to where it looks like a cartoon fake. But on, that's like Japanese style though. It like is. that really is Japanese style. Like so you said. I think you told me off camera seven inches. Seven and a half inches seven wider than on, on each, each side. side, everyone. So that's 15 total inches wider. Like, you want an example of how wide it is? Like, let, let's take a look. Look at this. Look how much wider. <laughs> that is crazy. So seven and a half on each side. Most wide body kits do like two and a half. I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you four. You did seven and a half. So 15 total. That's crazy. Yeah. That's and sick. all that was based off of the wire wheels because I know I knew I wanted a wide body kit, but okay. I wanted to mix what I do every day, low riding, yeah. and put it into like this Japanese K truck, right? Yeah. So I was like, how do I make the wire wheels work on this? I'm like, yeah. well, let's just slap them on and get an idea and then just roll with it. So yeah. when I started doing the body kit, I think it was like a month and a half before SEMA. No way. And I was like, it's a do or die. Like I gotta do this, I gotta finish it. So I jumped on it and I actually had the whole kit all tacked on and built, luckily with my crew. Yeah. Uh, we had on in like four days. Wow, that's crazy. Like, very well done. Like, everything's welded in. You don't see any random like lines or cuts. Like, it's obviously professionally done, but like, very yeah. professionally done. Really nice. Okay, what do we have for like the uh, suspension setup, an hydraulic setup? So, suspension wise, we're running a four pump hydraulic gravity fed setup. Okay. So, four individual pumps control over each individual corner okay. with a single tank sharing all the fluid. <laughs> what we did on the suspension is we actually did a pressure based suspension instead of a gravity based suspension. So, for this car, all the suspension is actually in the bed. Right, okay. So, as the, as the car goes up and down, you'll, as I hit the switch, you'll actually see the coils compress and decompress. Really? And that's actually going to be like the spring rate. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we'll definitely have to do that. That's up. So, each corner can move on its own. Yeah, it has individual corners. Even go. though this thing's so small, I want to be able to, if anything ever happen I was driving get a flat tire I could kind of tilt it to you know yeah. take a tire off and stuff like that yeah. but it's so sick look at that even the details from like the fencing on there I want to close it real quick again you can see the tire oh, that's awesome <laughs> and you know open it back up like that's sick like come on all those small little details make that even much more fun and let's go to the interior before you get to the front of the car luckily as far as functional everything was working already oh good so everything worked so the only thing i changed on here really was just did the steering wheel on it okay. uh did the two bucket seats uh did so a full dope. size and then a small actual just normal rider passenger seat yeah, yeah, yeah um and really that was just more for sizing um because yeah, there's one, not a lot one, of room this one's tailored to you and that one anyone can sit and in anyone can sit in that yeah. one yeah and then um i worked over with our buddies at current and they actually did a digital speedometer for me oh no way so it's all gps based instead of Trying to guess yeah. my KMs because I don't know KMs. Yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I did all miles per hour and I converted it with a custom logo and did. Oh, that's cool. Oh, you did right there. That's sick. Once again, like truck style right here, like with the, the cage in the front, but then like even the lights, truck style, but then JDM, I feel like in the front. Yeah, sick. so same thing. Like I didn't like any of the aftermarket body kits for it. Yeah. So, like, man, how do I make this look good? And I'm like, saws off. Makes everything look better. Wow. Yeah, so no, we just we just actually this is actually stock bumper and I chopped it all out and then what I did was just made an insert that goes into it that I could okay. fit my four rigid uh 360s in it. Um, yeah. and I wanted kind of mixing a rally style front lights yeah. with like the off-road front bumper. Heck yeah. A lot looks like an IE man is a mixture of different type of culture, car cultures out here is you mix a lot of that in here in the build. Yep. Which is sick. You guys think of this, like this is Come on, this is what it's about. This is hard. Like the K-Truck craze, it is really big right now. It is, it's massive. It's massive and no one's gonna do a build like, like this is on a whole nother level. Cause you get so many different aspects of like I said, different genres of car culture in this yeah. thing. It's man, oh yeah. my, it's well done. Hey, thanks, this man. is Thank like, you. woo. If you guys wanna buy this car, 250. Just kidding. <laughs> it is for sale though. It's for sale. Everything's for sale. Everything's for sale. Dude, let's go for riding this thing, man. You, you, I really wanna dude, go for riding this thing. Are you even gonna fit? All right, man, I'll try. I don't even think you'll fit. Holy smokes, I'll try my best. Because you know, I'm like 7'5 and I barely I'm fit in here. I'm 7'5. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Fit. Let's see. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm in. Barely. <laughs> I'm in there. Oh, I got to open the door. You got to open the door. Let's go. Yeah, Let's go. Roll it down. A lot of you kids out there don't know about these, uh, these windows. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they don't know about... Don't know this, how to run the windows. This, this was power before right? power, right here. 
<laughs> you want the sound effect, there you go. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, yeah. look at look how you drove. Yeah. You drove this to work today? I, I've been driving the last the last four or five days. I've been driving it. <laughs> look at that. And I, and I live halfway to you. No way. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You like cocked forward? <laughs> yeah, my hand it. has to go backwards. I love it. This is amazing. So it's stiff. It's stiff. It's stiff. It it's is stiff. Cool. Oh, dude, this is so fun already. Like being so close to the front. This is dope. Dude, this is so cool. Like, come on, guys. Look, look how we're riding right now. Look how we're riding. <laughs> Look how Hold we're on, rolling, horses. right? We're, going. we're moving. We're moving. Dude, this is so cool. I'm surprised you fit in here. Barely, I mean, man. Barely. <laughs> barely. I, I told Eric last time I need shin guards to sit in his. This, like, I have wide, wide shoulders. I'm, yeah. I'm not a big guy, but I got wide shoulders, and this like pushes my shoulders in. Yeah. Where I actually I drive with my window down, so I can actually have my elbow <laughs> out. So I'm sure you have to hit switches if you go over that. Um. That might be tough. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go over that. Might be tough. Are oh, you gonna do it? He's going for it. We'll just send it. He's going for it. No, don't break it with me in the car. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> so I just hit my top speed on it last night because I've been doing some like tune ups and you know just little maintenance stuff on it. Right, it was a little it was a little boggy. Let me get 63 miles an hour. Come on man, give me a little more than that. Oh, okay. 70? 75. 75. 75. That's pretty good. Yeah, it was pretty good. That's good. Eric told me he only got it to 66. That was the fastest he got. And I was going downhill. Yeah. So when I first <laughs> got it, it was, it was, uh, I mean, maintenance on these guys is really easy. It's cheap. Oh, yeah. It's like a, it's a Honda, man. So yeah. the, the hard part is everything is overnight parts from Japan. Oh my God. Literally. Literally right? overnight parts from Japan. So. Literally. So I've been ordering stuff here and there as, I, as I'm traveling. I'm on the plane, like ordering stuff, and I'm yeah. like, yeah, fuel pump, uh, you know, wires, you know, spark plugs, wire, you know, distributor cap, and so it's hard. Right? I think we were talking earlier. You said it's really hard to find parts for this truck, right? It it is. I mean, everyone has it, but everything's all Japan. So yeah. like the the hard part on it is just like taking a guess. Like hopefully this fits because uh, <laughs> it's gonna take two weeks to get here. <laughs> Not a speed demon. Not a speed demon, but it's still fun to sit in. This is sick. Dude, this is an experience, man. Especially if you've never ridden one, like, just the windshield, it's so big and open, but you're like right in the front of everything. Yeah. Like, literally, you like the ground, you literally, that's what you see. It's the ground is just right there moving. It's pretty fun. So where, where'd you find this one? So Was I, it here when you got it? Or? No, so this was actually in Japan. Um, I was doing work for a customer of mine that was actually an importer. He was like, hey man, you know, I want you to do this. He had a big, crazy Bozuka style van, and I'm like, dude, this thing nice. is weird. I love it. And I was like, dude, do you know those K-trucks? He's like, Oh yeah, I bring them in. I'm like, can you get me one? He's like, wow. Yeah. So, like, I mean, it was a quick conversation. It was sold right away. Yeah. I'll take one. Hard to transfer over because the right hand is steering. We know the the GTRs just recently, like, they're now legal in the states. So, <laughs> mine's legal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> mine's one of the very few ones that has California plates. Wow. I'm plated. That's a thing, and it really it's, is hard. It's so no, it's hard. It's it's almost wow. nearly impossible to get these guys plated and insured. And, really? and I got both of mine plated in shirt. I got Cali plates on both of mine. That's wild. Yeah. <laughs> he likes it. Hey guys. Seven and a half inches. <laughs> You're staring at it, so I had to do it. <laughs> wow. That's hard. Let's go. That's the suspension working as it's going up and down. Come on, everybody. You have never seen anything like this before. Holy smoke. Dude. Come on. You guys have to, you have to love this. If you hate on this, something's wrong. This thing is freaking dope. Yeah, Alex, once again, thanks, man. Thanks Thank for you, brother. Thank you, man. Come along on this journey. Thank Your you. Your guys' shop is nuts. I'm definitely going to be back. Yeah. I got to see some more lowriders, man. Yeah, I got to see some legit lowriders. I want the classics. I want the hoppers. I want it all, I'll, man. I'll invite you back over when we get that, that hopper going for yeah, that dude. company. Yeah, so. Blew my expectations. Like, literally, <laughs> like, I was expecting greatness, but this is, like, a whole other ballgame. So, again, man, give these guys a follow. Instagram is right here. If you guys want to build, I'm not just saying it because we're here. Like, you've seen what the head back there. You've seen the quality. 35 years, right? 35 years, 35 yeah. years of straight experience starting out of the garage. They know the culture. They do it well. Hit them up when to get something built. That's cool. We got to go out in the hydros. We got to go out. We got to end the vlog with the hydros going back up, man. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. 
Kill his wife!